This video series is designed to walk you through using the ad hoc reporting tool in Infinite Canvas. This is part three, filter parameters. The filter parameter screen is what allows you to narrow the data reported by Infinite Canvas to the information you're interested in. By clicking the next button from the field selection screen, we are taken to filter parameters. As you can see, each field that we've previously selected is displayed along with the operator and value columns. We'll talk a little bit more about the operators later, but for right now, I'd like to use our 504 filter to show you an example. In the previous video, we used the flag data to look for students who had an active 504 flag. As we can see from the save and test list, right now IC is giving us every flag uh, that any of our current students have, active or not. We'll use filter parameters to narrow that data down to just the 504. Returning to the filter parameter screen, the first thing we need to do is set active today equal to true. This is why we have active today selected as one of our fields, and we'll limit our data to only active students, not students who have withdrawn. Unless you have a specific reason to include withdrawn students, it's recommended to always include active today and set it equal to true for each filter you build. With that out of the way, we want to limit our data so that it only shows us the 504 flags for our students. We can do that by dropping down the operator box next to spprogram.name and selecting the equal sign, then entering 504 in the value box. This will tell IC that we only care about those records where the name of the flag is 504. If we do a save and test now, we'll see a new list has popped up, and this only has two students listed, 10th grader and 12th grader, and only the 504 flags. But we can see that 12th grader was actually exited from 504 and is no longer active. We can use filter parameters to remove her from the output as well. In this case, we'll want to drop down the operator box next to spprogram.endDate and select is null as our operator. Is null means that the field in Infinite Campus is empty and includes no data. This will tell IC that we're looking for students with a 504 flag for which the end date is empty. If we click on save and test again, we now have a list of students with a 504 flag with no end date, meaning that they are active. We won't cover each operator available in detail, but I would like to highlight some of the more commonly used ones. For a full reference of all operators and how they work, I've put a link to the community page that lists each, each operator and how it works in the description of this video. We've already covered equals, but it's important to point out that when using the equals operator, whatever you enter in the values com column must exactly match the data in IC. We can also use the not equal symbol, the two opposing brackets, to filter out results we don't care about. We also have available greater than and less than values so we can find a range of results. For example, we can enter grade is greater than 10 to find a list of our 11th and 12th grade students. In addition to is null, which is used to find an empty field in IC, we also have is not null, which is used to find fields in IC which are not empty. For example, if we wanted to find students who had been exited from their 504, but didn't exactly care when they were exited, we could use is not null. And as you can see, this will return to us the student that was end dated back in January. Please take a look at the linked list of operators in the campus community for more information about using the operators and how they work. This concludes the introductory video series walking you through how to use ad hoc reporting. Hopefully this series has provided you with basic knowledge that will allow you to use ad hoc reporting to export data from Infinite Campus. In future videos, we'll discuss how to build more complicated reports using logical expressions and how to customize your reports using output formatting.